Hello everybody, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode we uh, made our way back to uh, the Sacred Grounds and we fought, um, uh, what's his name, Big Tail Guy. Uh, in this episode we are going to be finding out more about the Ballad of the Goddess in Skylock. So let's go. First things first, let's take a sit down, get rid of this beeping. Excellent. Alright. What do you have to say? When the three sacred flames have imbued your sword, only then will the gate of time open for you. The clue that will lead to the flames is woven into the song of your homeland known as the Ballad of the Goddess. You must return to Skyloft. Okay, so we gotta return to Skyloft. Um, quickest way to do that be this guy. I lied. The quickest way to do that would be the guy outside. Come on! I couldn't do a thing! I'm totally useless! Gotta hit this wall specifically. Okay, um... You know what? I'm gonna cheat. I have the, um, the amiibo. How do I do? Um. Got the, uh, Coward Sword amiibo. Yes, I wish to return to the sky. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we gotta go to Skyloft and learn more about the Ballad of the Goddess, which I believe we do that in the library. If not, um, I might have to go to the, uh, power thing. I think we have the harp. I might just try and go to the tower. I'm sorry, you guys probably can't even hear me that well. Let me get my microphone extended out here. Is that better? Hey James, Kukul's come home. I heard you were the one who found my girl. Thanks a lot. The missus is grinning from ear to ear. Well, you're welcome. Do what I can. You know, finding a lost girl, saving her from a demon. 
Let sound the goddess song beneath the light's radiance, unto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. That was displayed in a way that made it seem like it was supposed to rhyme. Alright, well that didn't work, so I guess we're going to the library. I went the wrong way. <laughs> All right, library is up here. You know what? Let's check in the, with the headmaster. Maybe he can tell us something. Go it up. You're back, James. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Well, I need to learn the Ballad of the Goddess. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. I just need the lyrics. <laughs> you just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. O oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse of the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower and before you a path shall open and a heavenly song you shall hear I believe that's the whole thing the light tower mentioned in the song is a real place I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza I don't know a thing about two whirling sails though it sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that, and what does it mean? Two whirling sails, hmm. I don't know. Where's that, uh, Pippin guy? He's, he's pretty smart. There you are. Hey James, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's go to the instructors. Maybe they know. Lately I've been taking care of Mia for the headmaster. It's dangerous here. Having her around, she's so adorable that I'm starting to think I need one of my own. No, you do not. Just come see her at night. <laughs> ah, James, how's your search for Zelda going? Sorry for leaving it all up to you. I know you must be doing everything you can to find her. Alright, well you guys were a lot of help. I guess I'm gonna go to the Tower of Light.
This isn't the Tower of Why, is it? This is the Gar statue. Oh, he said the Tower in the Plaza. That one. The one I went to? So worried, I feel just sick. What was okay? I would, but I already tried to do that, and you and she wasn't there. Well, let's try this again. Battle of the Goddess that you heard from Gapora mention directing the two great whirling sails toward the light tower. That tower stands in Skyloft's Plaza. Although the meaning of this phrase is unclear, I recommend that you search around Skyloft for two things that could be construed as whirling sails. Okay. Oh wait, I think I know. remember exactly where they are. Pretty sure one's over here. Hey, you're in a different spot. What's up, James? <clears throat> I just talked to you. You're curious about the windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Thanks. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? When something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. I'm gonna think of it. Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Alright, so we're gonna go talk to Gon Gondo. Gondo. How y'all doing, by the way? You doing good? Kid, what's up? You look like you need something. You need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Yes. 
Huh? Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with? You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. See, my grandpa's old robot, what's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right, I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and, and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen any such thing. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Dude, I have one? What? I'm just as surprised as you are. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great, with this we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here, I'll have him up and running in no time. Well that was easy. There you go. Thank you. I've got a full tank of energy. I'm ready to carry anything. Huh? Who is this green clad individual of small stature? Small? Link's advertiser, is he? Whoa, it talked. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Hey now, watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're gonna help him. Hmm, this individual may have restored my operations, but I'm not inclined to offer assistance. Serving children is very low in my task priority. Master James, materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dousing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Your name is Fi? Should I call you Mistress Fi? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fi? Dude, he's got a crush on Fi. I understand. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Master, we now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. Master Short Pants. <laughs> I offer assistance. I can now detect Mr. Spy's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mr. Spy to call me and I will arrive with haste. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Cool. Alright, so, let's head down, look for that whirlwind, or er, uh, propeller thingy. Woohoo! This is not what I thought it was! Well, that was a big waste of time. Let us go. 
I'm surprised I remembered the button for that. Woohoo! Uh, wait. I don't know where to go. Um... Hmm. So it's beneath the clouds. So that doesn't tell me much. Here, let's go back. Hey, tell me where to go, you. Well, that doesn't tell me where it is. Uh, I don't know how to doubt. Oh, never mind. I figured it out. Wait. Yes, yes. I love, like, the sound of the feet. This away. It's down that way. Okay. I guess we'll do this. Wait a minute. I know where the propeller is. I'm dumb. I've played this game before. <laughs> We're gonna want to go to the temple entrance. I'm pretty sure. I need to open my audio mix here. Okay. Yes. Yes. I told you guys I knew where it was. This is the windmill propeller you're searching for. It's now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we've enlisted. Would you like me to call the robot? Yeah. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. You use telepathic transmission. Fine. Mistress Fi, I hope you weren't waiting long. So, you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Shortpants, you're in my way here. I said get out of the way. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. I'm 
pretty sure this guy flies behind us. It's kind of cool. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. We shall do that. Alright, everybody. Paris come here to say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Hi, baby. Say hi. Hi. What a good girl. Alright, back up to the sky. She's smiling. She's smiling, girl. Hi. See if we can get this. Oh, yeah. Here's that windmill propeller. Easy, dude. If you need me, feel free to call. Your mistress file will travel to any destination. That's weird. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that? It is! That's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that the whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling this is all some elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. This goes in here, and I just crank that a few clicks. <sighs> that ought to do it. If you can find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Honey? Honey! Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cover. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. <laughs> Be around, James. Nice. Alright, so. Get our guest spells out. Luckily, they're already out. Second one is um I don't know.
get over here where we can see you here. There's one way over there. It makes sense that the other one should be over here. I don't see it though. I think we can see it from like flying. Yeah. There's one. Where's the other one? Yay, it's already got the propeller. We did it, y'all. Got me. A little something neat. Let's go. Oh, now let's go. I'm surprised it clicked on there like that. How do I get the harp out? I am investigating it. What do you want me to do? Dude, let's go. I kept looking it up how to play how to take out the harp and everyone said press up on the D-pad. X is not a D-pad, okay? Why is it so hard? Oh, 
Thank you. For any of you trying to do this, and if you're struggling, hold the Wii Remote like this. Okay? And go like this. Don't know why it's so difficult. Let's go! <sighs> Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to the clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames, I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. And we will do that in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And subscribe if you're not, because a lot of you aren't subscribed. And that makes me sad. Um, <laughs> comment uh, if this video helped you at all. Uh, especially with this Tower of Light crap. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.